Hey there guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we are going to be finishing off the instructional text. So if you haven't seen the last few videos, you know, we've been sort of working on this text that pops up when the player first starts the game and it sort of just tells them how the game works, what to do and the controls and that kind of stuff. And what I want to do today is pretty much take that one step further and just add the last bit of text that points to the top left hand corner where the player actually has their hunger bar, their stamina bar and lastly their flashlight as well so we're going to be adding that in today's video we've got a whole bunch of stuff to do we've still got to import the graphic and all of that stuff but anyway without further ado let's just go ahead and dive in and get started let's go cool so let's go ahead and get into it so first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my instructional you know widget where I actually where we actually made all the stuff in the last video where we set up the animation and all of that cool stuff if you haven't actually seen the last video I definitely advise you go ahead and check it out using the thumbnail in the top left hand corner so once you've got that widget open just bring it up on your screen and let's find the little arrow image that we had before if you don't have one already you know like we created in the last video just go ahead and drag another image in there and just set you know the the brush image to you know whatever arrow file your name is for me that was just arrow UI icon um, I've already got one of these already it is over here called image once again we do need to make sure we change the opacity to zero so by default it's not really on the screen or anything like that so just make sure it's set to opacity uh, zero down there once we've done that just go ahead and rename it once again and for me I'm just gonna call this um, arrow icon and I'm also gonna position it as well just so it stays roughly in line with you know where our heads up display is as well so while I actually position it, I'm gonna make sure my opacity is set to one just so I can see it and I'm just going to sort of set the proportions. I'm going to have a nice big arrow because what I don't want to do is, you know, have a different arrow for each thing. So I don't want to have one arrow for stamina, one arrow for flash battery, one arrow for hunger. I'm just got, sort of going to have one pointing to all the little stuff over here. And then I'm going to have a bit of text over here as well. So I'm going to leave it exactly where it is at the moment. And I'm going to set the opacity back down to zero. Cool, and I'm going to go and grab my animation and I am going to go to the end of my timeline. So I've got to find sort of the end of where we put all of our other stuff before. So I'm going to scroll down and sort of find where that is if I can and just use that. So I have to quickly click and drag to make this a little bit bigger if I can as soon as I can remember how to do it. There you are, so just click, right, right click to sort of drag along on there and I'm going to see if I can find the end. So press shift to sprint. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly see which one's the end one, and then we sort of know what kind of timing to place it in. So toggle after toggle flashlight. So there's still a little bit more after that as well. So let's just keep going along on this little timeline, and I'm going to go up a little bit as well, so I can see there's some more there. Keep going all the way to the end, and hopefully this sort of is the towards the end. So if I remember correctly, press F to toggle flashlight was definitely the last bit. So basically. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap here and I'm going to come along here and I'm actually going to start to turn on up the opacity of this object around here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in the arrow icon. So I'm going to find that wherever that is. Arrow icon, there you are. Once again, we are pretty much just adding a color and opacity track. I'm going to go down to color and opacity, set the opacity to zero for now. That's fine. And over the next second, uh, or half second even, not half second, yep, half second, uh, I am going to have it going all the way up to one. So let's do that just like that. So now when I press play, it should sort of start to fade in and it looks quite nice. Next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to add another uh, track here so I'm gonna leave it on the screen for a second and the way I'm gonna do that is just add another keyframe with the same you know 100% opacity value a second later and from there we can sort of start to fade it out again after half a second exactly in the same way we have done for all the other stuff so another little keyframe here set this down to zero if I can type properly there you are, and hopefully that should be coming on our screen and looking great. Now, we just need to add the text for this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once again, just chuck in a piece of text there. Type in whatever you like for this. So I am going to scroll down in the details panel here, and I am going to change the text to something different. Something like um, stamina, uh, hunger, 
and battery shown here. There you are. And I'm going to stretch this out nice and big just to make sure that people can read it. And I'm going to give it a little exclamation mark there as well just to make it a little bit more dramatic. There you are, that is perfect. And this time I am going to change the font because, you know, why not? And I'm going to change this font to Feast of Flesh once again. Um, you know, it's a very spooky font. You know, if you do want the font, don't forget it's in the download link in the description as part of the project files. And let's make this text a different color as well. Let's spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to go with a lovely little orangey yellow color. And there you are. So I'm going to press OK on that and hopefully it should change it. Nope, because I was working with shadow color. So I'm going to go Control Z on that. And as for color, you know, you can just change it all in here. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it white for now. So that bit's all set up. And now we just need to add it into the animation in the exact same way that we did for the arrow icon as well. So go ahead and add in another element by pressing this add icon. And this time we are going to work with the text. It's called text block 76 at the moment, which isn't that great. So I'm going to change this to arrow text as well. And then we're going to go ahead and add that little component in there. So arrow text. And this time we are going to go to the end of the timeline here, which is 8.5 seconds. No, we're not because we need to make sure it's in line with the arrow as well. So we've got to start it here and pretty much just copy the keyframe points here. So arrow text, add a color and opacity track in there. Um, also, you know, make sure you set the default opacity down to zero as well. And I'm going to go to one here. And we're going to set the opacity here to zero. After half a second, it should be going up to one. Should be. Whoops, what am I doing? Color and opacity, zero down here. Over here, it should be one. Over here, it should be one again. And then towards the end, it should be zero. And hopefully, just hopefully, this should be looking quite nice. There you are. So I'm going to go all the way to the beginning of my animation now and just see exactly how our animations are looking. So I'm just going to skip straight to the beginning. I'm just going to press this to previous, not to previous. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this all the way back. So I'm going to go to number one or one second or zero seconds on our timeline. And I'm going to do that. So all the way back here. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to press play and see what happens. So find food to stay alive. That's good. Press shift to sprint. That's good. Press F to toggle flashlight. That's looking good as well. And we've got our little arrow icon coming up as well. So that is working all fine and dandy. One last thing that I'm going to do is because the arrow is quite big, I'm also going to be changing the size of the text as well. So I'm going to grab my text here. I'm just going to quickly change the opacity up to one and I am just going to pretty much change the font size. So I'm going to maybe bump this up to something like maybe not 40. So let's roll with something like 30. No, 35. That's cool. And I'm just going to make this nice and big as well. And once again, set the opacity back down to zero. Compile it. Save it because we got to make sure we save it. And I'm going to press play and see how all of this looks. So when I dive in, as soon as it finishes loading, if it finishes loading anyway, um, it should start to look great. So there we are. After five seconds, it should come up. Here we are. Find food to stay alive. That's pretty reasonable. Press shift to sprint, that's all good. And press F to toggle flashlight as well, which we can do. And then stamina, hunger, and everything is all shown in the top left as well. One little issue that I did notice with that is it wasn't really on the screen for long enough. So I'm going to change that one second to two seconds instead. So I'm going to show you exactly how we can do that. So what we're doing here is pretty much just dragging some of these key frames along to just, you know, lengthen the process a little bit, really. So let's gonna go and do that. So just go back to eight seconds on your timeline. It's five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, and cool. So what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna click this keyframe, click this keyframe, click this keyframe, and click this one. Um, basically what I'm doing here is I'm pressing control to click multiple objects. Once I've done that, I am just gonna drag these across a little bit just like that and you know I can just move them along that way the points between one and one is a little bit longer what that is doing is it's just keeping the opacity at one for a little bit longer so I'm going to compile this and press play and see what happens this time to see if it's long on our screen longer and looks better really so let's go ahead and see what happens find food to stay alive that's good 
that's good. And there you are, you can see it's on our screen a little bit longer now. I think this is probably a great place to end off the video. We've got our instructional text looking really, really nice. One thing that I do want to say before we go is, uh, from now on I'm going to be trying to make some slightly longer videos. So instead of making free videos or, you know, covering one subject like I have done with the instructional widget, I'm going to try and turn it into just the one if I can, and just lengthen it out to like 25 minutes or something. So anyway, thanks for watching, make sure you comment, like, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.